switching from bananas to another consumption uh, thing that you consume. With the economy still in recovery, more people are switching from nights out to nights in home. This is good news for the wine business, with shops seeing increased profits with this trend. Well, tomorrow marks the launch of 2009's Beaujolais Nouveau, and the industry is optimistic. Joining us now is Bill Deutsch. He's founder and chairman of WJ Deutsch & Sons, one of the nation's leading fine wine marketers and importers. Bill, thanks for coming in. Obviously, this is quite timely. We, you brought us a, a few things here, including the Beaujolais Nouveau that's yep. coming out tomorrow. You're also the, the biggest importer of Georges Duboeuf, which is this label. So talk to us about how you expect sales to do this this year of, of the Beaujolais Nouveau. Well, we're very optimistic about the Nouveau this year. Uh, the price is right. What, what is the price? Just to interrupt you for a moment. It'll be $9.95 for the consumer in most wine shops around the country. And it's a price that people are really paying for good wines today. They've come down from higher prices that they were paying. Things are not what they used to be. On top of that, the vintage is an excellent one. Mr. DeBuff told me in a recent phone call that in his opinion, it's the best vintage in 50 years. And he knows his wines. I mean, that said, you know, Beaujolais Nouveau is, is essentially a table wine. It's a, it's a fun wine to drink, and that's, and DeBuff, largely responsible for creating sort of the buzz that, that has grown up around what was a vin ordinaire or, or a table wine, essentially. Right. Mr. DeBuff has spent his whole lifetime uh, creating the best wines of the Beaujolais, and he's been very successful at it. We've had an opportunity to work together. We've represented him for 28 years, and it is thrilling that this year's Nouveau is such a good one because good wine comes at a good time. And, and sir, I would imagine that in, in this environment with the economy being what it is, consumers are still discerning and they still want a lot for their money and they want to make sure that they are getting the best vintage and the best wine possible. Uh, absolutely. People have traded down in what they're spending, whether it's wine or suits or what have you. And uh, as they continue to drink wine, they seem to be shopping in the price category below $15. And they're experimenting with different wines. And Beaujolais Nouveau comes along. It's under $10, and it's something that's perfect and goes very well with uh, the turkey at Thanksgiving time. Uh, when you talk about other wines as well and people looking for value, have you all, as a distributor, have you had to um, bring down some of the prices? Have you seen profit margin pressure as consumers are looking for, for lower prices on wines? Yes, we've seen profit margin pressures uh, not only to accommodate the consumer and continue the brand, but the margins have also been squeezed by the weakened dollar. And those wines that we buy from Europe, uh, like the Dubuff wines, uh, wines that we buy from Australia that we represent, like Yellowtail, have been severely uh, encumbered by the weakened dollar. So have you, have you been able to have the flexibility where you can change your mix and try and uh, not push, but try and distribute uh, and sell more wines that are U.S. wines? No, we try all of the brands that we are involved with financially and that we represent we push them all. They're all part of a package. We have commitments to our consumers, to distributors, to our suppliers, to give all of them a fair shake. And Bill, you, uh, you and Julie mentioned California. Where else should consumers be looking for fine wine in the U.S. these days? For U.S. wines? Yeah. Oh, there are fine wines not only made in California. There are some very good wines coming out of Washington State. Uh, as a matter of fact, we brought one we today, one. Uh, perfect with Thanksgiving. If you like white Columbia. wine, uh, Columbia Winery produces a fabulous Riesling, uh, and it goes very, very well with turkey dinner. Wow. <laughs> that, that, that's a nice shot. So generally, though, when you're seeing the profit margins be under pressure from the dollar, from price pressures, is that being made up for by an increase in overall wine sales? Is that what you're seeing? We do know that wine sales are increasing. We do know that people are drinking more wine. They're going out to the wine shops, buying more wine, 
because they're not dining out the way they used to. This is home consumption. They're stocking up their wine cellars. They're well, uh, some people are stopping, stocking up wine cellars. Other people are going out every afternoon, evening, buying two bottles for dinner that evening, bringing it home because they know that wines become an integral part of their social habit. They've read the medical journals. They read about the benefits that wine brings to you. Uh, sitting down with uh, your committed other and enjoying dinner over a bottle of wine really enhances an evening at home. I, I can't argue with that. I, I, I won't either. <laughs> Bill Deutsch, thanks a lot for coming in and, and thank you for uh, bringing in this wine. This isn't something that happens very often for us, so we You're appreciate very, very happy, it. Bill, happy Nouveau Day and happy Thanksgiving. Bill, thank you and so you much for well. coming in. And you as well. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.